While the Prime Minister has been calling for solidarity, the controversial Queensland Senator Fraser Anning has provoked outrage. He issued a statement linking the Christchurch mosque attacks to immigration. He's been threatened with a censure motion when Parliament resumes. White supremacy causes terrorism. Just 19 Australians voted for Fraser Anning. It seems few are willing to support his comments about the Christchurch attack. Protesters gathered in Melbourne where the senator was giving a speech about immigration. What he's doing to Australia is morally wrong. Yesterday was a worldwide day of mourning. It was a day of heartbreak. And this man chose to make political mileage off of it by blaming the victims. One demonstrator showed his disgust with an egg. It was leapt on by Anning's supporters and arrested by police. Community leaders are outraged that the senator blamed yesterday's attack on immigration policy. Here he is delivering a message which seeks to divide, which seeks to stoke the flames of hatred. These comments are appalling and they're ugly and they have no place in Australia. In a Christchurch court, the accused, Brenton Tarrant, made a hand gesture associated with white supremacists. Australian police say they are taking the threat of far-right extremism very seriously. We know that terrorism has many faces. We know that individual actors will represent different groups and they're all abhorrent. We investigate them all equally. Experts in the field believe it's a growing problem. Certainly in the US they say that the hate groups have risen to a historic high and one of the problems we face is that in Australia we're not really keeping tabs statistically on these sorts of crimes, either nationally or at state level. Deborah Smith has researched far-right extremists over the past decade, including their online activities. We found that consistently when there was a far-right rally taking place, that there was an increase in search terms related to violence or a desire to carry out violence. After the gunman live-streamed the attack on Facebook, it was quickly shared on other social media sites. Facebook refused to tell the ABC how many times that happened. But it did say it was using technology to detect and automatically remove similar videos from its sites. Facebook refused to say why Tarrant's account was not removed earlier and why so much racist and anti-Islamic matter remains on its platform. There are now fears that Tarrant's video could be used to inspire Islamic extremists. I think regrettably whenever there's an attack on either side those who are on that side will use it to motivate their own. Police and security services are working hard to make sure that doesn't happen. Steve Kinane, ABC News.